Now, a lot of times we wrestle guys who are super defensive, you know, guys just backing away, you know, trying to keep the score close, or maybe you're in a situation where your team needs some big points, or uh, he just doesn't want to get pinned, teched, whatever, you know, that happened to me a lot in my college career, so you have to improvise, you have to figure out different ways to open this guy up, you know, especially when they're keeping their legs back, they're really trying to uh, slow the pace down. So, again, I've reiterated this, but we're getting to the tie correctly every single time. We don't want to give this guy a chance to sneak one in on us. Um, it's just, you know, if you do the little details right every single day, by the time that you're in a match, if you do that right for, you know, months and months in practice, then you get to the match, you don't even think about it. You just do it right. So, um, no matter whether you're drilling or wrestling live, whatever it is, it, the habits start in practice. And so do all these little things correct, get into the tie correct, putting your hands in the right place. By the time match comes, uh, you'll, you'll do that all naturally without thinking about it, and it'll uh, pay big dividends. So to continue here. All righty, we're in our stance. I match this lead leg, all right? I always match and post with opposite hands, okay? Match, post, collar, wrist, right? Safe, secure. Once I have this wrist, I'm sliding up to the inside, all right? I'm gonna pressure, okay? Now, again, like I said, it's about the details, and a lot of people forget to this, forget this pressure, right? This pressure is, is super important. It's the, the start of the whole sequence, right? Because if you don't put pressure on this guy and cause a reaction, cause him to uh, you know, push back into you, then it's gonna be, all your offense is gonna be that much harder to hit, you know? Once you start putting a little pressure on the guy and then pulling him, using his momentum against them, that makes uh, all of our offense, all of our attacks, 100 times easier. And at the same time, like I said at the beginning, this guy's gonna get super tired because he's carrying all of our weight and he's worried the whole time about what I'm gonna do, whether I'm gonna push him around, or I'm gonna pull him, I'm gonna shoot him, I'm gonna, whatever I'm gonna do, he's super uh, worried about that. So, we're in our tie, all right? This guy's being defensive, you know? He doesn't want uh, us to take him down, he's keeping those legs back and he's worried about the leg attack. So I pressure, I pull. Pressure, pull. One more, pressure, pull, all right? I can't get to that ankle pick, that high C's not there. So I'm gonna give a big fake, all right? When I fake, I fake with my feet and with my head, okay? So my feet are gonna fake, my head's gonna go close to his knee. Boom, right there. If you try to fake with your hand like this and you leave your head up here, it doesn't really work. Um, it's just not a realistic feel and this guy doesn't feel threatened. But if I take my head and I put it all the way down by his knee, boom, now that's like warning signals, you know, they're going off in his head. He's thinking, I need to get my leg back. You know, this guy's gonna shoot based on my head placement. So, once I give that big fake, now, I'm gonna follow that with a big snap. Boom, fake, big snap, all right? So, when you snap, think of your hands got water on them and I'm flicking it off, right? That's a really powerful uh, snap. If you're squeezing so hard and you try to just pull him down, there's not really any power in that. It might squeeze his head or something like that, but if you wanna get his hands down to the mat, which is the goal, you gotta give it a big flick, like a whip, okay? Hey guys, if you're enjoying this instructional video, this is only the tip of the iceberg. We have so much more instructional content on our website, app.athletesocean.com. Back to the video. So, I get him down to the mat, all right? Now, I like to jump to a front headlock from here, okay? My um, one hand is gonna go to the neck, all right? This other hand is gonna stay right on the tricep, okay? So, once I'm here, we notice that Donovan's hands are on the mat, right? So this is gonna make it hard for me to run around him, okay? If his hands stay on the mat, when I go to run around, he's just gonna lift his arm up and stop me, right? And he can move faster. So, I wanna get this guy down to his elbow. So, hand on the tricep, other hand on the, the neck. I'm gonna push into him a little bit. When I feel any pressure back, I'm gonna spin and try to snap this elbow to the mat. Boom, just like that, okay? Once this elbow's on the mat, my hand switches to this type of grip so I can get all my weight on it, right? This kind of slides off, but if I take my thumb down, now I got a good grip. My thumb's on the inside of his armpit, I can get a lot of weight on him. My other hand's gonna slide from the neck and double block here, okay? So I'm up on my toes, hand on his armpit, double block here, and all my weight's on, right? From here, I'm gonna spin and catch the far ankle. Far ankle secures the takedown, okay? 
Once I have this, there's no scramble. And my other arm is gonna push through to the knee. And I always drive him down to his belly off the takedown. This is gonna make it that much harder for him to get up for an escape, and it's gonna lead into options for you to get turns. So I always, no matter what the takedown is, I try to finish with this guy on his belly. All right, continuing. So, match, stop sign, match the lead leg. Post on the head, slide to the collar, wrist, inside. Pressure, pull, pressure, pull, pressure, pull. All right, I'm looking at the pick, not there. I see it's not there. Big fake, big snap. All right, hand goes to the armpit, other hand on the wrist, or on the neck. All right, I'm up on my toes, pressure in. Pull, it's boom, right there. Getting that elbow down. Double block. Run to the far ankle. Now this other hand, my shoulder drops, comes right to the far knee, okay? The reason I go far ankle and not near ankle is because if I grab this near ankle right here, he's, he, now, now I'm just finishing a high C, right? He can stand up, do all kinds of different stuff, turn back into me, and I'm still scrambling, you know, which is a good option, but it's just not the best option. So for me, best option, far ankle, all right? Never waste. I'm gonna get rolled, you know, or this guy's gonna scramble out of it. Far ankle, run him down to his hip, right? If you can't get far ankle, near ankle's fine, but you just gotta be ready to finish right away. So for me, in my mind, I'm always looking for far ankle. Continuing from here. Stop sign, match the lead leg, post, collar, wrist, inside. Pressure, pull, pressure. Pressure. Pull. Big fake. Big snap. Hand on the neck. Hand on the armpit. Another big snap. Get him down to his elbow. Double block. Far ankle right here. Notice my weight's on him. It's heavy. Now I'm dropping that shoulder. Running him right to his hip. Finish him for two. If you guys want to master these positions and get better technically, there's way more of this content on app.athletesocean.com. Go check it out.